In this video, I would like to show you the first few steps you could take after you've created uh, your account on WeekPlan. First, I would list all the roles I've got in my life. So here, I click on the plus button and enter the name of the role. So, uh, uh, for example, being a friend. And I pick a, a color and I click save role. And I'll add a few more, like uh, I'm a family member and uh, I'm a colleague. Once I've done that, the next step is to list the most important things I could be doing this week for each of these roles. So as an individual, it would be very valuable for me to go back to the gym. As a friend, I should probably organize barbecue. As a family member, I should call mom and dad. And for work, I should uh, send the report I've been uh, working on. Now that you've got these most important tasks, what the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People book recommends is to schedule them in your week so that less important things won't take over and won't, um, won't hijack and these these goals so for example going back to gym i can do that on uh, on friday organizing the barbecue i should start doing that today calling mom and dad uh, same thing and sending the report i'm not ready yet so i'll send that on friday once you've scheduled your uh, your most important tasks your your goal of the week you can uh, start adding all the other tasks that uh, you had planned to do so tonight for example I have a dinner um, with, a, with a friend. Um, on a Friday, maybe I've got a, a meeting. Uh, so I will, uh, I will add that as well. I could uh, go and actually edit the time of that meeting if I want to. Um, and once you've done all that, there's still a lot of tasks that don't belong into your week or goals of the week. And this is what the parking lot is for, is for all the tasks that you can't do right now, but at some point you'd like to do uh, once you finish the current one. So here in the, in the parking lot, you can edit this list and add whatever you can think of. So I've got three different lists here. One is uh, for the book, uh, books I want to read, the shopping list. So I would be adding more um, so dish, uh, dishwashing product, for example um what, uh, whatever else uh, toothbrush as a, as i need them here i may have a, another a project for example uh, what would it be like uh, going traveling so tra travel to malaysia let's say so here i would i would uh, describe all the things i need to do to actually go to malaysia and once i'm ready for a uh, for action and ready to actually act on this task, I can select one of these tasks and click the promote to today. And by doing that, it will send the task back in um, in my uh, today list. So I can uh, I can see it here. And that's about it. That's really the the core features of Week Plan. There's a lot more to it, but uh, for the scope of this little video on how to get started. Um, that's what I would do if I were to start uh, on a week plan. Thank you.